Hello, my name is Jeff Young, and I will be here helping you learn how to edit a music video using iMovie. Now let's begin. First, we need to open up our program. As you look around, most of the layout is pretty user friendly. Let's take a look at the project library. This is where you lay out your project. As we browse, yes, I have already done this viral video. This layout is really basic with footage, pictures, and text. Look at the different things you get and get a good feel and see if this is where you're at. As you see this footage right here goes along with the screen to your right. This is how the viewer sees what you're putting out. So you can tell if you need to adjust things accordingly with your imports. A closer look at your imports, if you look here on the left side of your screen, this is where you will pull all of your project pieces. Now if you look to the other side of the screen, you will see the five boxes laid out with music notes, cameras, a T, and so on. As you scroll through them, you can see what each one does. And if you scroll slowly across, you can see the animation of each piece as well. With the different text screens, transitions, and backgrounds, you can do so many different things with each one of your videos. Take a second and look around at the different options you have. And then we'll continue next with a little bit more of the editing. Let's look a little bit closer since we have the basic layout. And let's clean everything up just a little bit better. Using your inspector that pops up when you click on your transition piece, you can choose different transitions as well as the duration of the piece that you're uh, editing at the moment. You can scroll across again and see the different animations of each piece that comes along with that part. And that's a transition. Have you ever used a precision editor? This brings you a little bit closer to your footage so you can get that little bit of a better clean cut for each transition so it runs really smooth for your viewers site you can do this several different ways this is just a simple little edit before we finalize our video once we are done with this we are now ready to try and put our music in to see if it matches with the footage that we have already chosen to do this we'll scroll through our music in our library and see if we can locate the song that goes with this. I seem to be having a little bit of trouble locating mine, so I'm gonna search for it. Rest in peace, there it is. Now click and drag over onto the project. See how it's highlighted the whole, behind the whole thing, green? That's what you wanna see. That means your entire track is covered with the music in the background. Now that we're done with all that, it's time we export. Let's go to share at the top. Once that comes down, we'll scroll down to export movies you see here. Click on that. Now we need to title our track, where it's gonna go to, which in this case, we're gonna put it on the desktop. And you can see the different sizes that you wanna save it as an export. If you want it on mobile, medium, large, really you gotta depend on how your viewer is gonna see it. Is this gonna be compatible with what they have? Let's use medium. It's not too small, and it's right for mo compatibility on most everything our viewers can see. I think this will work perfect for our solution right here. Cause you know, not everybody has a laptop still today. Well, that concludes today's session. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you have any more questions, feel free to look up more videos right here on youtube.com.